so welcome to part three this is about uh, what this channel has to offer uh, series wise playlists that type of stuff the previous two which you've already seen part one was on what's new and upcoming for the channel uh, part two was purpose of the channel and this is what we have to offer so thank you as always for coming along and uh, we'll see you all about town all right so last but not least we're going to talk about uh, a bunch of these series that we have uh, for the channel uh, you can explore them on the playlist some videos are going to be on two maybe three different playlists because they just sort of fit with that because i do have some side ones that some of the videos didn't really fit with anything so like the national registry of historic places i have like mitcher's uh distillery is on there uh we'll have some that'll be like the family or farm plot cemeteries which are the really small plots and that's a series by itself it's not necessarily a series it's more like a playlist uh the country churches and cemeteries not really a series but it's a playlist so it lets you explore some of these i have some that are specific just not really country roads take me home but they're road trips i do uh over the mountain and back again on 501 and 643 or 645 i think 643 and it's a really cool trip you know a trip to grandpa's place to sort of take you on a personal journey that type of thing and some of the other ones and i just try to fit everything into a playlist so it's easy to put things together that are the same um but i do i do one i did one on pennsylvania historical markers the whatnot adventures and america's rail stations Another one of the series is very, very popular is Country Roads Take Me Home. That I also did one for uh, here. Amer or Fun with Ralph and John. I'm getting confused here for a second. Fun with Ralph and John. If you like something that's unique, a little different, we go on different adventures uh, with Ralph Watts, who has the uh, comic book store, uh, Comics and Paperbacks Plus in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Really, really cool guy. Uh, a lot of fun our personalities are very unique and fit really well so people will have a lot of fun we go into elk county to uh view the elks we actually got to see some we've gone to just recently new hope new hope pennsylvania which is a really really new neat tourist destination a lot of history there we've also gone to uh, a hike out uh past the boxcar rocks to go check out what the wood frogs are doing and uh didn't really see a whole lot of them, but it was still a cool, cool hike and talk a lot about that area. And we've also gone to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. So that's a cool series to check out. There's also the main premiere one, which is eventually going to be the premiere one, I should say, is the Going About Town series. Now, there are several different versions of it. There's Walking the Main, where we just go down and walk the main street of these small towns. I haven't really done one of those yet. We also have one called Main Attractions where we visit a, a, a touristy type town like Jim Thorpe or New Hope. We'll visit the different uh, stores and locals, uh, small businesses, which I really appreciate, and show what the town has to offer, maybe restaurants, things of that nature, and interview those people. And it's a little bit of an advertisement for the series. There's also the Main Going About Town series, which will basically explore the town from its founding all the way up through to present day and we'll check out the architecture the stories of the town different things of that nature so that that's going to be a cool series also there's going to be a bunch of sort of sub series like uh, america's movie theaters which uh it's, it's sort of these locations like whether it's bowling alleys race tracks things that have a lot of significance uh to our, our period of when we were growing up and, and sort of being molded into the human beings that we are today and a lot of good memories that are associated with them and it's just one of those things that a lot of people have a lot of interest in you know we're going to do the first movie theater one on lebanon uh city there's a ton of movie theaters that we want to talk about that just aren't there anymore but we're really just these beautiful buildings and architecture and everything associated with them was just fantastic and it's just i think it's a lost form uh of architecture that we've sort of lost except maybe in the big cities but in a lot of small towns a lot of those things are gone now there are some that are still around like the anvil's uh, allen theater which we'll visit and uh pine grove theater hopefully we can visit them as well we'll also talk about the drive-in movie theaters because there's a lot of cool history with that as well so that's a series that i think is gonna be awesome one of the other ones that we did in anvil is a town square because a lot of these towns the town square that was originally there the buildings that sort of made that what it was a lot of them are gone 
and so we want to explore that and show this is what it used to look like and it's it's, it's a cool series and cool thing to have and do uh, another one having to do with cities and towns is hometown historic churches we've done two of those already uh, is just delving into the city churches that have so much history in the founding of the town uh, they usually have 200 three, almost 300 years of uh, history with them and the architecture is usually quite cool as well uh, so that's a series that we do we do uh, several other ones like hometown foundations like we do the Pennsylvania historic markers here in Pennsylvania they have a number of towns have these you know the old iron blue signs with the gold lettering again but they're much smaller but they're at the different parts of the towns like running into the town like Jonestown has I think two or three of them and they're probably put in in the 30s and the 40s and they give founding like the founder like Jonestown for instance William Jones was the founder it gives the year that it was founded and then they usually a lot of those towns they switch the names from the original one it was originally I think called Williamstown but because it matched with another town that was in Pennsylvania they decided to change it to Jonestown in honor of William Jones right after he had passed away so that's another series that's going to really delve in we're going to be doing Jonestown Fredericksburg and uh, Anvil here probably shortly and so that series will expand. We've only done Palmyra so far, but that, that's another series that will be going on. Uh, then we have some other series that uh, Heroines of Hometown History, which explores uh, women of history that have had a profound impact uh, in, on our society and our history. And it's not necessarily going to be heroes in essence like Mary Lindley Murray uh, or Mother Jones. It's also going to be people like Billie Holiday, who were heroes to young African-American girls. And the impact that Billie Holiday made on society and, and the love that she gifted and the compassion is very important to explore. So that's another series. We also have Tales of Hometown History, which is going to explore stories and people that just are forgotten. And our heroes, heroic tales, that's a big one. I'm really looking forward to continuing that series as well uh we have one on america's folk tales or hometown folk tales so that deals with a lot of, a lot of germanic european tales that get brought over here to america but also being that america's the melting pot we're going to bring south american tales we're going to be bringing african tales uh asian tales all those things are going to be coming in and be talked about the folklore that's been brought in is such an important part of our culture uh we also do have seasonal ones uh, we're coming into the time of year now where we're going to start doing haunted history tales again. I believe there's 10 videos on that. Uh, a lot of really cool haunted tales uh, in this area and, and all over that we're going to talk about. Uh, also, I'll mention in that folk tales, we'll talk about folk heroes, sort of like Johnny Appleseed, and we'll explore their tales a little bit more. Uh, we also have a series that we're eventually going to be doing where it, it's, I do think I have a number of videos on different individuals that it's hometown heroes. So it, it would be, you know, history, heroes, and, 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 and individuals of noteworthiness. We're, we'll be doing one uh, three-part series on Milton Hershey. We'll also be doing series on the founders and the, fa the fathers of the American churches, uh, be like uh, John Casper Stover was considered, and the Muhlenberg family dynasty were considered the fathers of the the Lutheran Church here in America. Uh, you'll have Jacob Albright and John Walter, who were the founders of the Evangelical Association. We'll be doing videos on them as well. That'll be a series. Um, we also started a series last year, Yuletide Tales, which we will be continuing this year. Last year, I wasn't able to do more than two because I lost my voice, I had COVID and it was just a mess. So unfortunately that'll go through December and January. We'll probably be starting up in October and then into November we'll be doing Haunted History again. Uh, and I'm probably missing some other series in there, but look through the playlist. Ton of different stuff. Uh, we'll be expanding all of them. Oh, and I do want to mention one, one, one more. We're starting a new series on uh, Militaria that has to do with war history. Uh, Kim, uh, one of our early viewers and subscribers, has sent me the story of the first Minnesota, which very well, their charge at Gettysburg could have changed the fortunes uh, of the world. Uh, if 
they hadn't made that charge very well the confederacy would have won gettysburg and they would have won the civil war we could have had a split america by the time world war one came around especially by the time world war two came around who knows what it would, it would have happened if they had not made that charge and changed the tide of the battle uh and gave the union time to solidify their lines so that's going to be another one we're going to visit military parks and and veterans parks and, and memorials so it'll be stories it'll be places we're going to get back to gettysburg at some time as well to continue the gettysburg history series most likely with uh cliff and uh and then we'll probably be starting series that we do with uh other folks that have youtube channels uh eventually want to get around to filming with cheryl and chris with sun plus one uh, i'll be continuing to film with wondering woodsman cliff my best friend uh, also, Colleen and I have talked about potentially getting together at some point. Angela uh, from A Trail to the Past. Colleen is Colleen on Varnish. Uh, and, and there are others as well. Like, I, I wouldn't mind getting out to vote or go out to film with Jay from JP Videos, uh, Jake from Mr. Smith Media, uh, uh, Lewis with uh, Simply Exploring and Adventuring with Lewis. Uh, and there, there are others in there as well that I would like to potentially be able to get together. We'll probably have YouTube meet, meet up and greet ups uh, that I would like to make at some point and then I can film with them and talk to you about their channels and the creature or creator content uh, recommendations series. And we'll be continuing also my life as a writer of JP Walborn, talking about more series and that type of stuff. So there, there's a lot that this channel has to offer. It's sort of, there's something there for everybody. And uh, we're going to continue to expand, continue, continue to grow, continue to visit more places. And I will say, as always, we will see you all about town. Hey, everybody. Another one of our awesome series. If you like going on a country drive, I take you on road trips called Country Roads Take Me Home. And there's also a couple playlists that talk about, like, road trips because they're not specifically Country Roads Take Me Home. But, uh... It's cool to go through the playlist and just see what's there but this is one of those I just take you on drives it's different times different places we talk about the local history as we drive by maybe places that we've already filmed things of that nature it's another really cool series that we just have it's just uh, this channel has a plethora of different types of uh, films and videos and something for everybody so like I said if you like going on those old country roads and just uh, going on little adventures where we don't really have a set plan. We just sort of go and say, hey, let's go. Let's take a right. Let's go this way. I've never been this way before. Then this series is definitely for you. So country roads, take me home. I also mentioned another companion piece to the country roads, take me home series will be mountain towns, take me home. Uh, it's sort of pretty cool uh, towns. We'll be starting out in Minersville. I'm hoping this series will wind up starting up in, say, maybe two weeks to a month. Uh, it's hard to say exactly when that one will happen. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be another one of those. You have sort of these cool mountain towns that, uh, you know, like Minersville, are sort of nestled into the mountain ranges around them. Uh, Johnstown's a town that I think uh, is very reminiscent of that as well out in uh, west central Pennsylvania but there's so many of them that just have such neat architecture because a lot of them still have some of the old buildings and the old main street that they've had from like the 30s 40s and 50s so I think it's gonna be a neat series to be able to go check these towns out very unique features unique cemeteries sort of up on the hill it's just a lot of Eastern European influence as well. We just did a video uh, yesterday on Lithuanian communities that have uh, come over here to the United States, talking about uh, Shenandoah being sort of that Lithuanian, it has some of the oldest Lithuanian communities in that area. So we're gonna be visiting a bunch of those and it's gonna be called Mountain Towns Take Me Home. So it's gonna be the companion piece just sort of like the Going About Town series is going to have several different uh, companion piece series that deal with the overall subject of that series, but 
give it a little bit of a different flair. We get to see different aspects of uh, our hometowns. So we will see you all about town. So our premiere series has been the uh, Pennsylvania Historic Marker series. These are these blue historic iron steel signs with the gold lettering are all over Pennsylvania. A lot of other states I think have these type of signs as well, but I thought it'd be a good idea to do signs on, you know, or do videos on these signs and just talk about the significance that there was something local that you could film with it. I was doing that at the get go. And then as I've evolved with the channel, uh, I started doing audio bits with pictures and that type of stuff. Cause uh, a couple people had asked, I was like, hey, could we have pictures of the historical figures and places and things of that nature? Sometimes there isn't a whole lot on these, but usually there's a significant amount that makes it well worthwhile visiting these signs uh, because of, of the significance to our, uh, our heritage, our, uh, our history. And this is uh, definitely a big part of our hometown history. So I encourage you to check this series out. It's a lot of fun, very cool, very educational. Check out Pennsylvania Historical Marker Series. So this is another series that I'm very, very uh, happy with. I really, really enjoy, very passionate about. My dad used to take me uh, when I was a kid to Strasburg Railroad, Kempton Railroad, and also the Hummelstown and Middletown. And that was just something that I just was always fascinated with the engineering, always fascinated with the architecture of the stations themselves. And uh, I thought this would make such a cool series. And uh, right now, primarily we've been visiting the rail stations. Uh, we just did a video on Minersville uh, Rail Station, but we want to start expanding with the channel to start visiting some of these really cool rail stations that still are in operation. Uh, like Strasburg, Kempton also uh, want to go up to the Lehigh uh, Valley Gorge uh, there then Jim Thorpe. There's a bunch of other really cool ones as well so check this out. If you love railroad, you love trains, this is definitely the uh, playlist and the series for you. And just in general if you enjoy America transportation or transportation in general, this is definitely one to uh, check out. Thanks everybody. So another cool series that we've been doing is called the What Now What Not Adventures. I sort of have when I have my vlogs, more adventures and whatnot. That'll be one of the scenes that we have on the shirts and stuff like that. But the What Not Adventures are basically it's just going out and exploring things like the covered bridges, uh, state parks, uh, county parks like Sweet Arrow Lake, uh, just visiting oddities and different things that we go on adventures just random adventures that we go on uh coleman's park is another place that we visited but um it's just getting up to more adventures and whatnot and it's just a, a fun fun little series that it's a wide plethora of what we can actually do and visit and and pay attention to and enjoy nature the natural world uh, and also some of the manufactured sites uh man-made that are just really neat and historical and just of note so visit this series check it out the whatnot adventures well worth your time